Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It is the 22nd of June, day 97 remote. Uh, the good news is that here in Pennsylvania, we're supposed to go green, uh, which is still only about 50% of normal, but um, at least we're going to be green here by Friday. Uh, it is officially the start of summer. Summer came uh, on 5.44 p.m. on Saturday, so day three of summer. So I hope you're happy about that. Um, also hope everyone out there had a great uh, Father's Day weekend here. I'll share some photos here at the at the end. Um, one interesting thing here that will have a big impact here on the United States, uh, make for some potentially gorgeous sunsets here by the weekend, is some Sahara dust uh, coming off Africa. This is from the satellite image here, a huge, uh, huge dust blob coming off the African continent. And uh, again, you can see this animation here shows it uh, already moving through the Caribbean. Uh, you'll see it'll get here to uh, around Florida here as we get toward uh, midweek. You see that, uh, again, that darker shade of uh, brown colors there is this uh, Sahara dust. It's high altitude doesn't typically get washed out uh, by rain showers, uh, but as you can see here, it explodes into the United States. Uh, so again, this is some reddish uh, Sahara dust uh, up there, 30, 40,000 feet up in the air, and uh, again, can make for some gorgeous sunsets. Um, probably gonna even get here in the Northeast by Sunday, so it'll be an interesting uh, weekend to see what, what this does to your, make your skies a little hazy, but probably make the sunsets uh, pretty interesting here. Um, after this, uh, we think that the, um, the culprit here was just the Bermuda High became a little bit more of an Azores High. It uh, shifted toward the east uh, part of the uh, Atlantic, uh, but it's shifting back to the uh, typical position here, more toward the closer to the United States here. So again, uh, enjoy this uh, dusty period because it might be the last here of the season. Uh, looking at this week, 22 through 28 June, um, about 1.2 degrees warmer than last year, 12th, warmest in 35 years, kind of cool in the middle, warm on the coast. Um, Wettest in five years, third wettest in 35 years, so a little bit on the stormy side, a bunch, a bunch above average uh, rainfall here for the nation as a whole. Uh, looking at next week, again, hard to believe, but uh, the week before, 4th of July weekend here, so it's um, coming quick. 1.4 degrees cooler than last year, coolest in four years, ninth warmest in 35 years, so above average temperatures. Um, probably going to be a, a warm start to this week. Uh, it may cool off a bit as we get toward the holiday weekend here. We'll see about that, but... Uh, what is in seven years, second, what is in 35 years, so much above average uh, precipitation continues here for the for the country as a whole. Looking at these aggregate trends uh, over the next two weeks across the world, again, coolish, uh, more normal in the central U.S., warmer on the coast in the U.S., uh, Europe, uh, generally on the coolest side. Um, Russia, obviously very, very cold, much below normal temperatures in uh, western Russia and very warm in Siberia. And pretty cool down there for winter uh, down in uh, Argentina and Brazil uh, right now. Uh, we have a team of folks here going to be talking about uh, some of what we do. Uh, these are some of our year ahead weather business savvy clients that we have here. And the uh, team will be talking about our power of one degree technology, how it predicts the seasonal sales for tens of thousands of seasonal categories uh, across the world by week, by store, by zip code, everywhere on earth. Uh, again, so the team of folks here will be uh, Rebecca and our chief forecaster, Rich Woolley, and Bruce Firth, a longtime ex Walmart guy, um, and EVP sales uh, marketing, Ed McLean. So check out this webinar on the 25th of June around 11 a.m. Uh, here on Thursday. Uh, contact sales at weathertrends360.com if uh, you'd like to register for this event. Again, they're going to be talking a bit about the future here, too. So again, um, I think a couple clients will be on the call as well talking about how they use our year-ahead information. This Father's Day weekend, uh, my little girl went from Elsa. She's in the Elsa phase, uh, if you don't know that from the Frozen movie. But uh, we converted her to Hulan Hawaiian girl here this weekend. Uh, so it's... Yeah. Uh, had a picnic. I think uh, I think my girls were trying to send me a, a message, subtle message here with all the Hawaiian theme uh, in the backyard that uh, time for vacation. Um, unfortunately, I um, can't go to Hawaii just yet uh, with the lockdown, but uh, let you enjoy some of these photos here um, over the holiday weekend. Have a great uh, week, folks.